we have for our test is a 25 horsepower machine. This is electric driven, but your eventual machine we want to put a gasoline or diesel engine on. This particular machine has a bag house that you don't necessarily need because yours is wet and not dry. This is just what we're using for a test. This uh, machine will do 600 CFM at 14 inches of mercury, which is more than enough to power a 3 inch, 100 foot or 200 foot long hose with water. Over here, we have a wet separator. Or what we're using is a wet separator. Any of the wet material ends up in the, and the golf balls end up in here, in this uh, drum. And this machine here is only used for drives. As you can see, this is a standard 55 gallon drum and it's empty. This is, this is the top of the, uh, of the separator. Everything that goes in here will end up here. And I will show you after we've done this that it's taking very, very little water with the golf balls. We're going to uh, turn the machine on in a second. What I wanted to show you is the tool here. We have a two inch hole in front of, just in front of the three inch nozzle. Now this three inch nozzle can be made in different, in uh, different configurations. This is just easy for us for the test. What this nozzle, what this hole does is it prevents all of the water from going into the end of the pipe all at once. Once it's past the hole, then the full effect of the vacuum to convey the material back to the pipe. We've got this connected with the 50 foot long hose for the test and we will show you uh, how it works very effectively picking up golf balls from the surface of water. As you can see, the amount of liquid that we actually collected along with the ball, golf balls was actually fairly small, maybe about uh, half a gallon. going to uh, demonstrate that the machine can also be used to pick up golf balls uh, farther beneath the surface if for some reason you need to do that. What we've done in this case is we've reversed where the hole is and we put a sliding sleeve on here in order to control the vacuum. The reason for that is we need to be able to plunge the tool in below the surface but we want to keep as much as the pond in the pond rather than in our vacuum. And this is the only the way that we can realistically control that. We'll show you now. Oh. 